CIETNCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 4 Simple Equations Page 89 Exercise 4.3 1. Solve the following equations A. 2y plus 5 upon 2 is equal to 37 upon 2. b. 5t plus 28 is equal to 10. c. a upon 5 plus 3 is equal to 2. d. q upon 4 plus 7 is equal to 5. e. 5 upon 2x is equal to minus 5. F. 5 upon 2x is equal to 25 upon 4. G. 7m plus 19 upon 2 is equal to 13. H. 6z plus 10 is equal to minus 2 i 3l upon 2 is equal to 2 upon 3 j 2b upon 3 minus 5 is equal to 3 2 solve the following equations a 2 multiplied by within brackets x plus 4 is equal to 12 b 3 within brackets n minus 5 is equal to 21 c 3 within brackets n minus 5 is equal to minus 21 d minus 4 within brackets 2 plus x is equal to 8 e 4 within brackets 2 minus x is equal to 8. 3. Solve the following equations. A. 4 is equal to 5 in brackets p minus 2. B. Minus 4 is equal to 5 in brackets p minus 2. C. 16 is equal to 4 plus 3 within brackets t plus 2 d 4 plus 5 within brackets p minus 1 is equal to 34 e 0 is equal to 16 plus 4 within brackets m minus 6 4 a Construct three equations starting with x is equal to 2. B. Construct three equations starting with x is equal to minus 2. 4.7. Applications of simple equations to practical situations. We have already seen examples in which we have taken statements in everyday language and converted them into simple equations. We also have learned how to solve simple equations. Thus, we are ready to solve puzzles or problems from practical situations. The method is first to form equations corresponding to such situations and then to solve those equations to give the solution to the puzzles or problems. We begin with what we have already seen. Example 1, Part 1 and 3, Section 4.2 Example 8 The sum of 3 times a number and 11 is 32. Find the number. Solution 
If the unknown number is taken to be x, then 3 times the number is 3x and the sum of 3x and 11 is 32. That is, 3x plus 11 is equal to 32. This equation was obtained earlier in section 4.2, example 1. To solve this equation, we transpose 11 to RHS, so that 3x is equal to 32 minus 11, or 3x is equal to 21. Now, divide both sides by 3. So, x is equal to 21 upon 3, which is equal to 7. Page 90 The required number is 7. We may check it by taking 3 times 7 and adding 11 to it. It gives 32 as required. Example 9. Find a number such that one-fourth of the number is three more than seven. Solution. Let us take the unknown number to be y. One-fourth of y is y upon four. This number y upon four is more than seven by three. Hence, we get the equation for y as y upon 4 minus 7 is equal to 3. To solve this equation, first transpose 7 to RHS. We get y upon 4 is equal to 3 plus 7, which is equal to 10. We then multiply both sides of the equation by 4 to get y upon 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to 10 multiplied by 4 or y is equal to 40, the required number. Let us check the equation formed. Putting the value of y in the equation LHS is equal to 40 upon 4 minus 7, which is equal to 10 minus 7, which is equal to 3, which is equal to RHS, as required. Try these. 1. When you multiply a number by 6 and subtract 5 from the product, you get 7. Can you tell what the number is? 2. What is that number, one third of which added to 5 gives 8? Example 10. Raju's father's age is 5 years more than 3 times Raju's age. Find Raju's age if his father is 44 years old. Solution As given in example 3 earlier, the equation that gives Raju's age is 3y plus 5 is equal to 44. To solve it, we first transpose 5 to get 3y is equal to 44 minus 5, which is equal to 39. Dividing both sides by 3, we get y is equal to 13. That is, Raju's age is 13 years. You may check the answer. Try these. There are two types of boxes containing mangoes. Each box of the larger type contains four more mangoes than the number of mangoes contained in eight boxes of the smaller type. Each larger box contains hundred mangoes. 
find the number of mangoes contained in the smaller box. Page 91 Exercise 4.4 1. Set up equations and solve them to find the unknown numbers in the following cases. A. Add 4 to 8 times a number. You get 60. B. One fifth of a number minus 4 gives 3. C. If I take 3 fourths of a number and add 3 to it, I get 21. D. When I subtracted 11 from twice a number, the result was 15. E. Munna subtracts thrice the number of notebooks he has from 50. He finds the result to be 8. F. Ibn Hal thinks of a number. If she adds 19 to it and divides the sum by 5, she will get 8. G. Anwar thinks of a number. If he takes away 7 from 5 upon 2 of the number, the result is 23. 2. Solve the following. A. The teacher tells the class that the highest marks obtained by a student in her class is twice the lowest marks plus 7. The highest score is 87. What is the lowest score? B. In an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. The vertex angle is 40 degrees. What are the base angles of the triangle? Remember, the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. C. Sachin scored twice as many runs as Rahul. Together, their runs fell too short of a double century. How many runs did each one score? 3. Solve the following. 1. Irfan says that he has 7 marbles more than 5 times the marbles Parmeet has. Irfan has 37 marbles. How many marbles does Parmeet have? 2. Lakshmi's father is 49 years old. He is 4 years older than 3 times Lakshmi's age. What is Lakshmi's age? 3. People of Sundargram planted trees in the village garden. Some of the trees were fruit trees. The number of non-fruit trees were two more than three times the number of fruit trees. What was the number of fruit trees planted if the number of non-fruit trees planted was 77? 4. Solve the following riddle. I am a number. Tell my identity. Take me seven times over and add a fifty. To reach a triple century, you still need forty. Page 92 What have we discussed? 1. An equation is a condition on a variable such that two expressions in the variable should have equal value. 2. The value of the variable for which the equation is satisfied is called the solution of the equation. 3. 
an equation remains the same if the LHS and the RHS are interchanged. 4. In case of the balanced equation, if we 1. Add the same number to both the sides or 2. Subtract the same number from both the sides or 3. Multiply both sides by the same number or 4. Divide both sides by the same number. The balance remains undisturbed. That is, the value of the LHS remains equal to the value of the RHS. 5. The above property gives a systematic method of solving an equation. We carry out a series of identical mathematical operations on the two sides of the equation in such a way that on one of the sides we get just the variable. The last step is the solution of the equation. 6. Transposing means moving to the other side. Transposition of a number has the same effect as adding same number to or subtracting the same number from both sides of the equation. When you transpose a number from one side of the equation to the other side, you change its sign. For example, transposing plus 3 from the LHS to the RHS in equation x plus 3 is equal to 8 gives x is equal to 8 minus 3, which is equal to 5. We can carry out the transposition of an expression in the same way as the transposition of a number. 7. We have learned how to construct simple algebraic expressions corresponding to practical situations. 8. We also learned how, using the technique of doing the same mathematical operation, for example, adding the same number on both sides, we could build an equation starting from its solution. Further, we also learned that we could relate a given equation to some appropriate practical situation and build a practical word problem or puzzle from the equation. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.